Hi everyone, this is JB of Let's Kulong Pare and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dalter Tar Philippines. I'm currently in Tar Plus Sukat, you know, one of the most trusted and reliable and premium, you know, service center in this part of town. I'm having my vehicle, uh, the LC200, uh, serviced for 70,000 kilometer checkup, and at the same time, I'm having my tires replaced. So, this video is about um you know the fitment and removal of my tires okay and we will be I, I, I will show you how many kilometers does my 275 65 r17 8980 was able to uh, to reach okay uh as as a uh, a preamble for this uh video i'm i'm the, this this is a good advice to consumers that um when you talk about tire performance, it is best to measure in terms of kilometers rather than uh, months or years. So I'll show you the computations later and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned from this. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Uh, now my vehicle is being serviced and um, it's a 70,000 kilometer checkup. Um, also, I had my I I will have my tires replaced today uh, with a new set. Okay, currently my tire fitment is a Maxxis. Uh, let's go straight here. It's a Maxxis uh, 8980, an all-terrain tire, 275-65R17. Now it has it still has a remaining tread depth of five millimeters. Okay. Okay. Um, all four of them when I measured a while ago using my tread depth gauge. They still have four millimeters remaining. Uh, this video is about teaching consumers um, how to measure performance. Uh, and it is better to measure performance in terms of kilometers rather than, uh, 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 rather than uh, you know, measuring it in months or years. Okay. Currently, the, the odometer reading of my uh, LC200 is 72,000 kilometers. And as I remember, when I, when we fitted this uh, Maxis 8980, it's about um, uh, 8,756. So roughly, it had 63 kilometers, uh, 63,000 kilometer run. So later in the latter part or latter part of the video, I'll show you the computation um, because I will have to do some projections because uh, like what I mentioned, when I measured these tires, they're not yet worn out. I still have five millimeters across all four of my tires in each different quadrant, remaining tread depth. So that four millimeters um, or five millimeters could have uh, a projection of a uh, kilometer run. Now, adding, um, adding to, uh, to a safety tip if your if your spare tire is um is installed on the rear okay on the rear of your suv tire just like this one okay this is where my spare tire is, was installed okay and it's um it's been sitting there for 10 years now uh, this is a Yokohama Geolander. It is the original equipped tire for the LC200 uh, 2011 uh, model. Now, this is what I advise consumers. And uh, now I'm experiencing this problem because I didn't follow my own advice. As you can see, okay, if you look closer to this tire, you know, the marks, there are some marks on the sidewall. Deep, uh, deep uh, marks. Okay. And here's another. Okay. 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 Uh, these marks are coming from uh, where it was installed in in in, in the uh, rear of my SUV. As you can see, uh, this is where this portion right here is uh, where just brushing against the spare tire and also this one okay and, okay let me see another one this is another 
portion where this in point of contact against uh, the sidewall of my spare tire. Understand uh, the main reason is this, okay? It was wrong for me to ignore the spare tire. I've been uh, I, ever since it was in, uh, ever since um, uh, I've driven this, uh, I've not included the spare tire in my rotation. And also, I've not been checking the pressure, the air pressure of my uh, spare tire. This is a wrong practice. So I tell my consumers to um, uh, include if if it's still less than 5,000 kilometers. So pag binili mo yung vehicle mo, and it's still less than 5,000 kilometers or it's brand new, include your spare tire uh, in the rotation if it is the same size of what is being fitted but a space saver siya, you can't do that if it's a smaller spare tire you can't do that and what i'm trying to say is if your spare tire is of the same size as what is fitted include that in your rotation and also do not um do not ignore you also have to check the air pressure of your spare tire now if you ignore now for 10 years this is a model a 2011 model and it's been sitting there for 10 years it will have scuff marks just like this and well i will replace the spare tire anyway so yeah don't 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 do this guys um i wish you follow my advice again technical advice is if you got your tires uh, if you got your vehicle and brand new include your tires spare tires in the rotation um this is if your spare tire has is or has the same size as what is being what is fitted on your vehicle if hindi naman uh, if it's space saver so do not ignore the space saver uh spare tire you always have to check or you have to frequently check the air pressure of your spare tire as well okay so again uh okay guys as promised i will show you how to compute for uh, the mileage projections of the tires that they have just removed from the LC200 uh, and also this video is about uh, telling consumers that they have to base uh, performances of the tires on mileage rather than in number of months or years or days now uh, before we do the computation we have to get information we have several information number one will be the actual um, uh, odometer reading so um, all the reading right now okay um the lc200 is clocking at uh 72,114 uh, kilometers currently right now so next will be um uh, what will be the fitment uh, uh fitment odometer reading so this is when we first uh installed the 275 65r17 8980 um, I captured and recorded the odometer which is uh, uh, 8,756 kilometers um, another thing that you um, need to know is the OTD the original tread depth of your tire which is uh, in this case is 12 millimeters okay you also have to know the TWI the TWI is the height of your tread wear indicator. In in this uh, example, in this scenario, it was two millimeters. Now, um, using my uh, tread depth gauge here, you know, I measured all four of my tires, and I was able to get an average. Okay, there's some minute uneven wearing, so I have an average RTD of uh, five millimeters. Okay. And uh, the lowest that I am, I was able to capture remaining tread depth is four millimeters. Okay, so why do I need to capture the lowest? Okay, so eventually, ito yung mag wear out mas mabilis. Okay, so pag ito na zero or ito yung lumapit na in the mo in the in the in a nearing uh, worn out, you'd have to replace the tire if you have an even wearing. But there's some minute, minute or very small uneven wear in this case. So I will compute um, two possible projections. One is the lowest, 
and the other one it might be the highest okay so so give, given all these information I need to compute the wear rate okay wear rate so this is the wear rate wear rate so wear rate is uh, the number of kilometers a tire can run per millimeter I repeat it again it's the number of kilometers a tire can run per millimeter of consumption in the track so in this case uh, the formula for wear rate will be um, uh, the actual actual run okay actual run in kilometers okay over um, what is uh, the consumed consumed uh, thread thread height it's okay so if we translate this one is uh, this is uh, this can be achieved by uh, 72,114 minus 8,756 divided by consumed is uh, original thread depth is 12 millimeters okay. minus let's say the lowest I get the lowest so 4 millimeters okay so um, it's uh, 72,114 minus 8756 okay that's uh, 63,000 358 divided by 8 millimeters this will be equal to 8 so the lowest possible project uh, the, the wear rate for the lowest is 7,975 this means 1 millimeter can run or uh, uh, 7 or 4 not at 7,990.75 kilometers. Okay, so that's that's the principle behind. Now, understand that I was able to capture two data of the remaining credit. One is the average, which is a five millimeters, and four is the lowest. Now I computed the lowest. So if I would project for the lowest, okay, the lowest. Um, this is how you do it. Okay. Your wear rate times original thread depth minus PWI so 7919.75 multiplied by 12 minus in this case PWI is 2 millimeters so I just have to multiply this uh, uh, times 10 times 10 so the lowest possible that I can achieve if I still continue using the remaining four millimeters is uh, 79,197.5 kilometers. Okay, now let's compute for the highest. The highest, the highest is this, okay. So if we wanted to compute for the highest, um, 63,358 kilometers is the actual uh, kilometer run divided by instead of eight, 8 was derived from 12 minus 4. This time it's 12 minus 5. Okay. So it will be 63,358 divided by 7. It's uh, 9,351.14. Okay. So using the same. Um, formula uh, this is the wear rate if we use uh, five millimeters as the remaining credit which is the average okay so we multiply 9051.14 to uh, 12 minus 2 okay which is 10 times 10 that's uh, 90,511 43 
So, um, so okay. In summary, if in case uh, your 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 theoretical projection might be from the lowest at seventy nine thousand one hundred ninety seven point five. Or the highest up to 90,511. Right. Okay, so that's that will be the range if I still continue to use the remaining four or five millimeters that I have in a in a Maxis 8980 that we have just removed. Now um, we have in, in this scenario because I already have plenty of uh, performance monitoring of the 8980. And it clocks uh, about 90,000 for others that I have monitored. Um, we monitored in the Ford Ranger of the same size, 27565 R17. Uh, we tried to measure it, uh, uh, sorry, 26565 R17. And the resulting uh, mileage was uh, 90,000, more than 90,000 as well. And we also did try using it in the Isuzu MUX, a 265 uh, 65 R70, the 8980, also clocked in a mileage run of 90,000 uh, kilometers. Then in, um, in this scenario, uh, if I would continue, I might probably, statistically, I might probably be able to reach 90,500. Okay. 43 kilometers we have established this one in two vehicles already and i'm just measuring it for uh you know my uh personal personal uh you know achievement for 89.80 so now guys um this will be the first part the next video i will upload is cost per kilometer that will be a more in-depth study uh, if the tire that you purchase is uh, actually giving you some savings or you were you are use you are maximizing investment in terms of your tires the cost per kilometer principle will be in my next video but today I'm saying I'm just telling consumers please when you buy your tires uh, please be guided to record your fitment odometer so after you remove your tires you'll be able to know how long uh how long or how many kilometers it was able to run okay or they're able to run and the technical advice please do not uh, base your performance on months days or years you base it in number of kilometers and i hope you learned from this video i know this is a little bit crude and basic uh, I will upload this in my, my YouTube channel so you'll be able to see the actual competition. Thank you so much guys and uh, I'll see you again next time.